Okay, this is how I make my rocket fuel. Um, regular household sugar, caro syrup, potassium nitrate, or stump remover that you can get at Lowe's, um, and a digital scale that I got at a smoke shop. <clears throat> First I'm going to mix out 100 grams of KNO3. Let me get my scale on here. Let that zero out. Perfect. Throw that in my electric wok that I got at Target. It's been very good for making this fuel. Set that back here. Tar it again. Put my potassium nitrate away. Get the sugar. Pour out 50 grams of this. So that's 100 grams of potassium nitrate. 50 grams of sugar. Try and be as exact as possible so you get the same results each time. So take a pinch away until you get 50. And then mix that into the bowl with the potassium nitrate. And I just stir it up a little bit with my fingers. There. Let me get my bowl here. Tar that. And now I'm going to measure out 18 grams of caro syrup. Should you pour this slowly because it adds up pretty fast because of the density. So now I'm going to do drop at a time oh. just gonna pinch some of this out until I get 18 I'm gonna rinse that off real fast okay now I'm gonna use one fourth cup of water I'm gonna rinse out my measuring cup here Good. I'm going to pour it into my bowl of caro syrup and turn my scale off. Get this out of the way. And now I'm going to mix this up until it is one liquid. To make it easier to pour into the wok with the rest of the mixture. Looks good. See now it's all liquid. I'm just going to pour this into the center here. A lot of people preheat their caro syrup beforehand, um, but I feel it's really not necessary for my fuel mixture. You can do whatever you want. I'm going to turn my wok up to 10. It's the high, highest setting here. And I'm going to begin mixing it. Now feel forward to fast forward if you like, 
um, but I'm going to do this in real time all the way up to the burn test so you can see the evolution that takes place. <clears throat> Get it all down to the center so that it all dissolves as it heats up. And after a while, I'll turn it back. I turn it down to about eight, eight or nine. It gets pretty hot after it starts boiling. Don't let it boil. Some people you see on the internet or YouTube that uh, let their mixture uh, just sit until it dissolves all the way. I like to keep it moving, um, mainly because I don't blend it before I put it in here, blend it all together. Um, I do it this way so that, because the electric wok gets pretty hot right there in the center, you see it starting to boil the mixture. Um, I, I don't want it to burn my fuel and caramelize it so I keep it keep it moving the whole entire time makes it easy so I'm gonna turn it down to nine here About to enter the crystal mush, mush stage. It's gonna boil out all that water so that all that's left is pure potassium nitrate, uh, sugar, and carbon, which is the binder to hold everything together. And then the sugar acts as oxidizer. Later on, I plan on experimenting with ammonium percolide as a catalyst, a burn catalyst. Let's see if we get some longer burn times. And keep it mixing from this point on if you haven't already. Um, get these bubbles out of here so it's going to burn. And from this stage, we'll go to a real saturated fuel like mixture. Um, that's just to get the rest of the, the water out um, once it's done boiling. Then it's just a re regular mixture until it's a light, 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 light brown. More like a beige ish, as you could say. And now it looks like oatmeal. Mixing it, keep it moving. Some people like to do a snap test, um, take it off and put it on a cold cold plate, use a little knife and scrape out 
about a centimeter's worth and smash it down the size of a penny. Um, I'm not going to be doing that uh, because I know when the fuel is fully cooked and ready to go. So I'm just going to skip that part and go straight to the burn test. I'll show you guys what this fuel can do. Looks more like frosting for a cupcake. And we'll keep going some more. Still too sticky to be a good burn. Turn this back up till it kicks on. Mix it nice and fast so that it doesn't burn rapidly because the heating element is right there so you don't want it to do that. It's looking pretty good. Smash it around a little bit. I think we're about there, so I'm going to turn off my electric walk down to warm. I'm going to move my fuel off the heating element for it not to burn anymore. So scrape this off with my spoon. And I'm going to take a sample to go burn test, just a little bit. Let's set the camera down because this stuff gets pretty hot. Just roll it up into a ball. Make sure it's not too sticky. Smash it out nice and nice and easy. about an inch. So we're going to go burn this and see what it does. I'm trying to find my pan here that I know I'm like tested in. Beautiful Monday morning. Let's see how she does. There it goes. Normally I use a butane liner. It's faster. And that's how I make my potassium nitrate.